Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today's topic is easy flint and steel flame. And this method can be really easy, but you have to focus on each particular step. So the one we're looking at today is taking the ember and turning it into flame. All right guys, I'm gonna show you the easy way. A lot of people struggle with this step when they're starting out, you don't have to. Because what you can do is you can go to a local store and buy some jute twine. They got this at department stores, hardware stores, craft stores, dollar or two for a spool of jute twine. Then what you want to do is cut off about a foot, more or less doesn't have to be exact. Cut about a foot length. Okay? And fold that in half. So now you got six inches or so. Okay, fold those in half. Now you got some three inches or so. Now we're going to start disassembling them. In this particular jute twine, I think it has three cords. Let's look. Yes, see how it's made out of three cords. So I'm going to take that apart to the individual cords. And then each cord is made out of many individual strands. I'm hoping that's focusing, but in any case, it's made out of individual strands. So you take it apart, pull it apart, pull it apart. See, I'm forming this ball of very fine hairs. Looks finer than human hair to me, though my near vision isn't what it used to be. So with that first little piece of jute twine that was about three inches long, I made into that light, airy ball of hairs. Set that aside. So I still have these other three little strands, three little sections, I mean, that I cut. And I'm going to disassemble those, take them apart, pull them apart, so there are three cords. All of them are down to the individual cords, but not uh, individual hairs, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just breaking that down less. And you could repeat and keep repeating and make a really big bird's nest. I'd recommend that actually, but I'm just going to do this. See if I can get flame just with that. But see on the top here, have those really fine hairs. Excellent. So my tin, I've got some char cloth. Got my rock, this one. It's a piece of quartz. We don't have flint or chert in this area. All we have is quartz. So I grabbed a piece of quartz off the ground and napped it so it's sharp. And that's all I have. I'm also assuming for this demonstration you have a striker, steel striker of some sort. And this can be easy. Of course, I'm trying to keep it in the camera frame and all that. Hopefully you can see it. I'm in a dark area so hopefully you'll be able to see the sparks. Put the squadrons of mosquitoes after me but that's fine. There we go. Got a little ember.
Put that in my bundle. See if I can get some flame. There's your flame. So then you could use that flame to kindle a campfire, a cook fire, a bonfire. You could light a candle with it or an oil lamp, whatever you're doing. I'm not going to get into that today. I just wanted to show you how you can get flame. And it's your other skills take you from there. So I thank you for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul.